my principal in the high school was a mathematician i was not a student of mathematics but i used to go to his office whenever i saw that he is alone and talk about higher mathematics because now the older mathematics is not applicable any more to the physics biology chemistry biochemistry they are going beyond it so he told me that why don't you start attending my classes i said i have no problem i am not a student of mathematics but whenever i am free and you have a class i would love to come if you allow me but then don't get disturbed by me because i will not just be dead there i will be alive he said what do you mean by being alive i said exactly what it means being alive you just give me a chance and see i was always interested in many things trying to find out whether they are really based in knowing or are only hypothetical because if they are hypothetical then they are not really true they are pragmatic helpful convenient for example equilibrium that the class he was teaching geometry when he allowed me for the first day now equilibrium definitions even a child can see that they are wrong equilibrium says a line has length but no breadth now without breadth how the line can be it is so simple it does not need <laughs> to be a mathematician and i am not a mathematician and i was not at all at that time and i asked him this this is stupid what you are talking that it has length but no breadth it has you draw a line on the board without breadth just with length then i will accept your hypothesis he said now i know what do you mean by being alive <laughs> i 
I have done post-graduation mathematics and this question never came to my mind. Equilib says so. Every school, every college, every university teaches it so. I never thought, but perhaps you are right. I can see there is, and I said it, it is miserable. With the chalk, you dry a line on the blackboard, and still you are saying that it has no breadth. And the point, Equilit says, has neither length nor breadth. Then how it can be? <laughs> it may have very, very small length, very, very small breadth. But that does not mean that it has not. You just need a magnifying glass. And I said, you wait, I will run to the chemistry lab and bring the magnifying glass and show you. He said, there is no need to go, I can understand. But then, what I am to teach? <laughs> Equilibrium is finished because these are basic definitions. I said these are hypotheses. Just one thing you have to accept these hypotheses are practical, but not truth. So you have to find out whatsoever you know, whether it is hypothetical useful in life are really a truth that you knows, that you have felt, that you have experienced. If it is only hypothesis, put it aside. And you will feel such an unburdening, borrowed all hypotheses, all knowledge that has gathered there and you are carrying, you are dragging a mountain load. You are being crushed under it. You just put it aside. Be ignorant. Accept that I am ignorant and from that point you can start the search. Child, every child is going to be burdened. I Hope that someday it will not be so. In fact, there is no need because when you are teaching equality, you can teach it very simply that this is not truth, it is only hypothesis. With this hypothesis, it becomes easier to understand the triangle, the circle, and everything. But Remember that in the base there is hypothesis and the whole palace is hypothetical. Similarly, your God is a hypothesis and then the whole pyramid of theology is nothing but based on that hypothesis. If you start looking into things, it does not need great intelligence. It needs only simple innocence to see.
that principal called me in his office and he said you are not to come again to my classes because now it will be difficult for me to deal with children they have seen me as ignorant up to now i was an authority you destroyed that but he was a sincere man in a way he said that i can understand you but don't do it to any other teacher because they may not understand it and now i know why so many complaints go on coming against you that you are a disturbance but this was not a disturbance you have opened my eyes i will never be able again to be the same but what puzzles me is that i never thought about it i simply accepted it